drive it. I'm going for it. Okay. Well, he died faster than I expected. What's up, guys? The yes, Miguel here, and today we're actually going to be playing a bit of Solo Toast. Alright, so Thanatos is not a god you see in the solo lane, well, ever. Except for that one time Cyclone, Cyclone Spin played it in the SPL, and you know what? It's, it's not really that that bad. With the, Of course, with the new blue, blue stone, that's what it is. Blue stone gives you mana, but the passive is extremely strong with Thanatos. And also, we're gonna be in a matchup that is actually really good with, really good against, or really good for Thanatos. I can't speak right now. Yeah, with the Gone You because you can cancel his main clear with your three, which is really awesome. So we'll see how this works out. You may want to go Red Pot. I'm not quite sure. Let's see. Is he going? I might go Red Pot here. Thinking about it. Yeah, we might as well. I imagine Red Pot's pretty good on Thanatos in the soul lane. So we'll see how this goes. Alright. We're going to be able to just pick up some green and purple pots since we are a god who's not too reliant on mana since we do have a lot of our ability cost in HP. Then again, you can run out of mana and... Uh, being out of man on Thanatos is pretty bad. All right. Let's see, Fenrir also went red pot, which is definitely the choice I would go. Since Fenrir does have an advantage against Kali, definitely in the early game. All right. Try and clear this out as quickly as we can. All right, Fenrir is just gonna rush to the mid lane and see if he can take all those mid harpies. He definitely should be able to against Kali. And that's gonna be a dead one, you. That's gonna be a dead one, you. Well, Red Pot definitely helping us out there. He went a bit too aggressive. He wasn't acknowledging that my three can cancel his three, which is his main wave clear and his main damage source. And I killed him because he couldn't clear the archers and the archers did a billion damage. All right, Thanatos solo. <laughs> That's Thanatos solo. So we should easily win this lane now. Almost no competition. We have a really strong early game team with the Fenrir, with the Ymir with the Thanatos, and I mean, Giannis does have the rotations required. He's not really considered a early game god, but the portals are very useful. Oh, I and I missed my scythe. Could have been another kill. Could have been an easy no kill. But I messed it up. That's fine, though. There we go. There's another kill. There's another kill. It took a little while because I couldn't get my scythe to hit the first time. That was just completely my mistake, but we're going to be able to do it here. And we're going to start off the game 2-0, get our ultimate. We may be able to get a kill on this mid lane. Let's see. Do I want to dive it? That's the question. I'm going for it. Okay. Well, he died faster than I expected. Yeah, that was fair. <laughs> Danto Solo. Fair. Fair gameplay at its finest. The only more fair god is Loki. And we're, oh, we're going to get another gang. It is 6-0 right now. They, we are just doing so much damage to them. I feel really bad. I feel really scummy. 
this uh, experiment with Danito Solo could have went really bad poorly though. It could have went terribly for us, but with that early kill, we just can't really be beaten. All right, we might as well just go back and pick up our boots here. All right. I know I can put a level in my two, but honestly, I don't really need my two right now. Against Guan Yu, I should. I'm just gonna wait it out. I don't need my three either. I just need my one. The faster my size leveled up, the better for me. Of course, my three does increase my clear, but I already have my my attack chain, which does enough to clear the wave. In terms of playing Thanatos, I'm able to tank these minions because get some HP back from killing them. All right, we'll put another we'll put another level on our three right here though. Okay, Guan Yu is only level 4 and I am level 7. Not really having the game that he wanted. Alright. We're gonna have him quite low at the moment. If we hit one more Scythe, we can probably dive with our ultimate. He does have his ultimate online, which will make this a bit more difficult. Oh. Well, I should have seen the Kali coming. Or expected the Kali jump. Bit of a wasted ultimate from me, but that's gonna be fine. Uh oh. Well, it took long enough, but they managed to get a nice gank on us. They're probably at this. Oh, no, there's Guan Yu. Uh, no, they're not going to be able to do anything, unfortunately. Yuanus' ultimate was a bit too far to the left. I, they, I believe they went for the speed buff there, but that's going to be fine. We were playing a bit too aggressive without any vision. All right. Might as well just sell those and pick up a ward. As you saw with the gank there from Agni. Alright. It's 7 to 2. We are doing very well in this game. Oh my gosh. And how are you picking up the double kill? We are winning in every single lane. We just have to make sure not to get ganked again. Or if we do get ganked. Turn it around instead of just kind of taking it. All right, Benner's trying to see if he can get a gank. I'm not quite sure if it's. That is going to be his. I can't hit him. Up. Up. Yeah. There you go. Benner's got it. We couldn't, I couldn't hit him. I couldn't get quite in range. He's a bit too quick for me, but Fenrir managed to pick him up, so that's going to be fine for us. And he's going to be able to survive. Good job by him. All right, I'm just going to put another level of my one here. Oh. Definitely stop hitting the tower. Ooh, that's going to be a lot of damage on the Agni. Over half his HP just from my one scythe. Ow. We are going to be able to take out the Agni there, though. Oh, just, just out of... Out of threshold. Almost got out there, but... She managed to get us. I should have just ran. I thought I was going to be able to get in the air. We were so close, but Fenrir is going to be able to pick up the kill in the end. So nice job by him. See, we're going to pick up beats here just because Kali has her stun. Agni has her, his stun. And we'll pick up another ward. And we'll place it a bit more aggressively this time. All right. Let's see. Do we want to level up our ultimate here? Yeah, we'll level up our ultimate instead of our three. I don't really think we need a three for the clear. 
I personally believe we are in a very good spot right now with clear. So. Alright. I'll make sure my team is aware that Guan Yu is missing. I believe he probably just went for his blue buff. Oh, yeah, there's a Kali right there, so he probably just went for the blue buff. Yeah, there he is. An enemy has been slain. There's one. Oh, we're not going to be able to just one R1 right there. He's going to be able to back up. He is out of mana. He does have blue buff, though, so we need to be careful about that. All right. Let's see if they can get the Agni. Yeah, they are. Nice job by them. Yeah, Kali's just going to back off. Oh, Fenrir is going deep. Enemy missing left. Cancel that. All right, Guan, you still here. Fenrir saying oops. A bit too aggressive. He almost was taken out there, but he's going to be fine in the end. All right. I did use my three to clear the wave, so we're not going to have it to cancel Guan Yu's clear, but... We're going to get some pretty decent damage off on him. Ymir's calling for a gank. those minions into the tower range. I missed. It's going to be Guan Yu's ultimate down. Oh, I'm going to miss. Oh, oh. Uh, it's going to be Agni. Nice job by the Ymir. Able to pick that up in the end. I probably shouldn't have missed that healing, even though he did dash. I mean, the ultimate there, not healing. He did dash, but I easily could have made that work. Let's see, does he have... Okay, he does not have blink, so we have a free tower here. Alright, we're just going to see if we can do anything with this Fenrir. See if we can help him out and save him. Ymir's going to come in. Ah, looks like she, he's still going to fall in the end. Ooh, nice stun from the Agni. Oh, I couldn't get to the portal. No. That was too aggressive for us. Way too aggressive. Definitely should have retreated. That was completely my fault. Me and my me and Ymir just went too deep there. All right, we're going to pick up improved purification. Pick up a sentry. While we're at it. We have four kills, but we've died three times. Mostly from being a bit too aggressive. Also from being camped a bit earlier on because of how much we were dominating this Guan Yu. Which we still currently are. He can't do anything. He has mystical mail, but we can still defeat him really easily. He's just not having a good game. He's two levels under us. Only mystical mail. He can't clear the wave because of my three. Just not a good matchup for him. All right. We're just going to clear this wave and then kill that ward that I see over there that the sentry spotted out. All right. Let's go to that sentry. Or to this... I guess that's the basic ward. Yeah. There we go. Be careful. Right? Enemy missing left. I'm going to see if I can help out. I saw Guan Yu going around. My ultimate's ready, so I should be able to get in there quickly. Fender's going to be able to take out the Capri. Oh my gosh, I completely missed my sight there. That was... That was bad. Yeah, he has a stun, so I can't... Yeah, there it is. Guan Yu's going to be able to get a kill there? All right, we're going to be able to kill the Guan Yu there in the end, and we're going to take the trade for us. Two for one. All right, we're just going to take out Kali's ward. I might as well pick up the purple here. Oh, we couldn't get him. Well, enemy. 
Oh! Oh no. Oh jeez. Nice job by the Giannis. Okay, I thought I wasn't going to be able to get away there because Giannis portaled the Kali, but in the end, he killed the Kali. And because of that, I managed to get away. So nice job by him. Great ultimate to get us all out of there. And we're just going to get away with two kills. No deaths. The power of Giannis. Alright, so what do we want here? I'm thinking of just going more attack speed. Because we don't have any yet, so... Because attack speed is actually very decent on Thanatos. You usually don't pick it up because... Of course, these items are expensive, chin size, and your abilities do a lot of damage early on. So if you want to snowball really hard, you pick that up. But if you go for a more of an attack speed build, you do end up being stronger later on in the game. So we're just going to see if we can do that since we don't want to fall off as hard as Thanatos generally does. But we may also pick up a defensive item. And that defensive item, I want to be Mail and Renewal. That's a very strong item, especially since it gives the CDR. Okay, so... Our team went a bit too aggressive there. I probably should have just stayed ooh, on the left side and tried to clear out the wave. So I do have a sentry, so I can place this. Uh, nah, I'm not going to waste it right here. We did get Kali very low, but unfortunately, he's, she's going to be able to get away there. Nice job by the Kepri. Really great defense. Oh, the Agni, though. Yeah, he's going to get stun off. Alright, we need to not be doing this. We need to... Yeah, we need to put wards on the objectives and see if we can fight around those and pick them up. Because right now, we can't end the game just playing like this. And they do have a stronger late game with the uh, Kali and the Artemis. That's a crazy late game composition. Of course, our early game was way better than theirs, but... They're starting to be able to do a lot in these fights. Oh! Oh, he altered the wrong target there! Oh my gosh, I'm just not... I'm just not hitting these sights. I mean, these point-blank sites. No excuse for missing those. I just need to be a bit more comfortable. Not let, sh let my hand shake around so much. Alright, so I'm just going to go back to base because I took a lot of damage. Continue going towards... I think I'm just going to go for the, for the big chin size. I was thinking about going for Executioner since... Of course, the Guan Yu and the Kepri are both going to be pretty tanky. But then again, I already get armor penetration with my two. That's actually very strong. So being able to use that with Chin Size would help out a lot. And it looks like Ho Yi is going to be safe on the right side. Good job by the Janus. Able to save our teammate. Ooh, it looks like he might fall though in the end. Let's see if Ymir can get my ultimate. He might go on this Artemis. Yep, we're going to be able to take out the Artemis there. Oh, she turned around. I thought she was going to continue going straight, but the Ymir wall, of course. Oh, we're still going to be able to get the kill on the Kali. Looks like the Guan's going to be chasing us. Is there going to be a kill on the Guan? Oh, man. Looks like the team was a bit too aggressive there. Even though if we did have the whole team there, we probably would have been able to get some kills. This is the Gold Fury. So actually, I think the the best decision there... Oh, wow. I missed the scythe on the Gold Fury. I think I'm going to... Yeah, I died. Yeah. Probably shouldn't have went for the Gold Fury then. Let's see. Maybe I'll... Oh, ho ye. <laughs> ho ye, buddy. I... You try to be tricky there, but I don't know about that one. All 
All right, we may lose the Gold Fury here. We do have the Yanmus ultimate available, and we do have wards on it, so. Attack. Uh, looks like he's not going to steal it, but he's going to be able to push them off. Ooh, that's going to be a lot of damage. Ymir's freeze didn't miss, unfortunately, but okay. it's going to be strong for us. We're also going to be able to pick up the Gold Fury because of the Ymir ultimate. I think Kepri lived, though. Yeah, he did because his ultimate was on him and Ymir's ultimate was Chiao Nui. I'm going to see if I can get over there. I do have Chin's size up. I do have my two up. So let's see if we can do something here. I do have my ultimate as well. Killing spree. Fenris really wants to get some kills. Alright, let's see if we can get this Agni. Oh, that's gonna be a heal. That's gonna be a heal. That, yeah. I tried to dive behind him because of the... Because I saw the heal go off, and I dove a bit too close into tower range. I should have just kept going a little further. But I saw the heal go off, and I was like, wow, that's pretty rough. Another thing I could have done, I probably could have, if I maybe would have tried to land on top of Agni, I could have possibly still taken him out. I probably still would have died from the Guan Yu, but I would have taken him out. And that was a really nice play by the Ho Yu. He got two, two bounces off on that cut. Holly, so she was taken out pretty quickly. All right, let's get some words. I feel the time's coming though. I feel like I'm kind of falling off a bit. A lot of it has been, of course, because I'm not playing really that well. I'm, I'm missing a lot of easy sights that I have no excuse for missing. I don't know why I keep doing that. And I've also, of course, gone, been going a bit too deep in things, but I also feel like my sight's not doing as much, but that is, of course, the reason why I am taking Chin Size. So I can become a more of a basic attack oriented god over a. over a ability based god. Right. I kind of want to put a ward on top of this. Yeah, I'm just going to put a ward there. Alright, I'm just going to back off. Oh, it looks like we got him surrounded. Oh, he's still got his ultimate off. Get the ult here so I can get away from the Guan Yu. Yeah, we're just going to have to back off, it seems. That's going to be a Ho-Yi ultimate, but... Oh, yeah, I'm just going to run away. A bit of a poor fight by us. Oh, my gosh. I got taken out there. I didn't think they were going to continue advancing. I thought they were going to go for the Fire Giant. But at least since they took me out, they're not going to be able to go for the Fire Giant. And Giannis is going to be able to get Fenrir out. Nice portal by him. Alright. Let's go for Mail Renewal. We need to get a bit tankier. As well as finish our cooldown reduction. Let's see if we can maybe steal this. Let's see if Giannis can do it. Actually, they are way too low to finish this out. Yep, yep. There's going to be a kill from the Giannis. Just with his ultimate there. Here's a double kill on the Kepri. Agni's also pretty low. He's going to be taken out by the Fenrir. Yeah, this is going to be a wipe for us. Let's see if they can get the Artemis as well. Uh, yep, there's Artemis. Alright, uh, looks like we're going to go for the Fire Giant. Ah, Ho-Yi, please. Please, my wings can't get around you. Alright. Alright. I'm 
back off a little bit here. Let Ymir take it. Because I am not tanky enough to be doing that. Alright, that was just a really nice play by our teammates. Oh, wow. I'm just going to go back to base. Our teammates managed to turn their good play into a bad play. Like I said, they all went for me, which was kind of odd since the Fire Giant was completely available after they took out a few of us. And since they went for me, they wasted a bit of time and our ma teammates managed to get together and defend the Fire Giant and get a few kills off of it. The Yanus and the Fenrir, and of course the Ymir coming in right after. Yeah, this should be a free Fire Giant, or a free Gold Fury. Yeah, there's a Kepri trying to see what he can do, but there's nothing he can do. Oh, uh, this might be a bit too aggressive. That's kind of what got us stuck the last time we had a bad fight, is that we all just jumped on the Kepri. Oh, Fenrir is not in a good spot. Alright, I'm gonna see if I can... I'm gonna use this portal. See if I can get back around. I am not that tanky right now, and I'm fairly low. All right, we should just push him out and retreat. We got what we needed. I unfortunately couldn't take out the Artemis though, because of course the Kepri ultimate. And then Kali and Guan Yu came to her aid. Oh, okay. Let's go for these back harpies here. Wow, looks like they're on the Agni. Kepri's coming around. Alright. Just gonna do a little bit of damage to the tower. Oh no. I'm gonna ult here. And you're going in? And that's going to be a kill on the Kepri. They went a bit aggressive on me. The team went in and we managed to pick him up because he they went a bit too far. Oh, it's going to stun me. Nah, I'm not going to be able to get her, unfortunately. But it looks like the Fender is going to be able to get her. Alright. Yeah, we should probably not go for it. Actually, if we can get the Agni here, then we could probably go for the game. We probably actually could have gone for the game there. With the Agni and the Artemis both being dead, they don't have too much clear, so... We could have went for it, but I mean, it's better to be safe. All right, let's just take out this tower. Looks like Ymir's gonna go back to base. He did get fairly low from tanking that tower. Whenever we get to go back to base, we're going to be able to pick up our Mail of Renewal. Which of course is going to be a huge spike for us. And we're gonna be able to be a lot more tanky in these fights. And sustain very well off of kills. Be right back. Thanatos already, of course, being a god who does very well with kills because of his passive. Alright. So we could go for some more attack speed or we could go for some crit. Crit would be kind of overkill, I think. And I'm actually just going to go for some penetration with the Titan's Bane. For our abilities mostly. Because except for on Kali and Artemis, they've pretty much completely fallen off. And I guess the Agni as well. Actually, more the Agni than the Artemis. Artemis actually isn't going getting taking too much HP whenever I hit her with her one. Or with my one, but it still hurts a lot. But for Guan Yu and Kepri, it's Harley even takes off Kepri's passive. Which is kind of sad, but it was bound to happen eventually. Alright, let's clear out the left side. Okay. 
All right, looks like Ho Yi wants us to split push here. Me and Fenrir are going to be over here already. We need to be a bit careful though, because it looks like they're coming around. Janus and Ho Yi are in right. Ymir is still way in the back over there. Looks like the people defending are going to be Kepri and Kali. Which do have very good combo potential, so we need to be careful about that. Oh, my one's not even going to hit the Kepri there. It's going to be able to dodge it. Alright. Uh-oh. Okay, it looks like he's just going to get Fenrir's beads. Is Fenrir building... Looks like he's building... Yeah, okay, he has Spear Robe. It's not that squishy, but it's not that tanky either. He's going to be able to get the Guan Yu. Not necessarily the one we want to be getting here. That is going to be a Capri ultimate, though. Oh, I'm not going to be able to get out. Yeah, Fenrir pulled... <laughs> he took the wrong guy right there. He got Guan Yu to... To get his ultimate off a bit easier. That's okay. On the right side, we're going to be able to get some pressure and a tower. Alright, let's sell our blue stone now and pick up our Titan's Bane. Last item, I'll just make it another tanky item. Because it looks like we're just not going to be needed to deal the damage. Ho Yi and Yanvis are doing enough for sure. So, let's see. Actually, we could go into a lifesteal item. We do have a soul eater on our team already. Which is an item that's actually really good on Thanatos. So, let's see. We could go for a Blood Forge as well, though, which would be kind of interesting. Or an Aussie. I'll actually go for Aussie. It'll give us a bit more penetration, some attack speed, as well as some lifesteal. Alright. Looks like our teammates are going to start putting some wards around the Fire Giant. They want us to attack it. Oh, there's Kepri. He looks like he's trying to put some wards. Trying to get some vision. Let's see if Fenrir can stop him. Because if we can get a kill on this Kepri. Let's see, my ultimate is available. Oh, there's Kali. Oh, that's going to be his ultimate. I'm just going to ult here. Oh, Giannis already killed him. That is... <laughs> I kind of took my time there. I wanted to make sure I got it perfect on the Kali. Because I knew if we took out the Kali, it would be an instant fire giant for us. They can't defend it. Their jungler and their supporter down. Oh. That's hitting me. It's actually hitting the Ho Yi. Alright, that's going to be free for us. Alright. Yes. Let's attack the middle lane. Get a bit of healing from my scythe on the minion. Uh oh, looks like Guan Yu is going to be over there. Alright, we need to wait for our fire giant to allow us to regen a little bit more. Attack, attack, attack. That's going to be an easy kill on the Agni. I'm going to be able to get a double kill. I'm going to have to beads out of there, though, because I took a lot of damage. All right. Oh, she got taken out so quickly. And that's going to be the game. At Stanto Solo, we had most damage. We kind of fell off a bit near the end game. We, I mean, that's generally something that happens with Thanatos. We tried to avoid that as much as possible, but it happened. We missed a few scythes that we shouldn't have, and we went a bit too aggressive. But our early game was strong enough to carry us through, as well as our Janus and Ho Yi were also very strong and managed to do a lot of work later on in the game. We, we really did work in that solo lane, though. We, we kind of ruined Guan Yu's day. Yeah, he did end up end up with almost as much damage as us though. 
We did get a lot of kills on him early on though. If it, for Yu later on in the game, he does bring a lot with his ultimate and the amount of tankiness and healing he has. So anyway guys, this has been the SMA Gan. I'm sorry if my voice was a bit monotone and sounded a bit stuffy. That's because I'm a bit sick, but I still got the gameplay out. So this has been the SMA Gan. Please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.